Christmas. Ask you first of all, uh, how you're enjoying the work of experience? Uh, yeah. Um, first day or two, I suppose you were probably speaking to the lads the other day, the kind of jet lag and that, but um, yeah, I kind of got over that now. Um, it's been a bit strange, I suppose. Two days ago, it was like really, really warm. Uh, I got scalded, and then today it's raining, so it's a bit like uh, Galway nearly. But um, yeah, we've all settled in. Um, the locals here in Sheba have been really welcoming to us, so um, uh, it's just been great, yeah, so far. No, I got scalded in Galway. No, I got scalded as well, so. Um, just in, in terms of obviously the bad news for, for Robbie Henshaw, I mean, how much of the flow is that for, for the team and, and, and the squad? Uh, yeah, look, as Robbie last week, you could see the energy he brought, especially in defence. Um, I think it's just obviously for himself, it's probably a bit of a blow, but um, if you look at the three lads that are there, um, you know, Bundy, Ringer and Chris, both, you know, they bring their own small little things um, to the pitch, and when they're when they're at their best, they're uh, world class. So, um, yeah, look, it's obviously really bitterly disappointing for Robbie. Um, he'll be working hard to try to get back, but it's just, I suppose, opportunity for the three other lads to kind of step in and step up now. Uh, I didn't go as far as Tokyo and I just kind of stu stayed around the hotel and kind of checked around the local areas and checked out the restaurants more importantly so uh, yeah trying out the, the Japanese cuisine it's yeah it's, it's very nice so I'm a big sushi man so sorry oh yeah definitely Um, uh, not like it was a bit kind of challenging at the beginning, like, but I got my reps and training, and uh, obviously against Wales, I got a like a decent few minutes at, at loose head there. So, um, like, it's like riding a bike, you don't really forget it. So, it's where I started off, and kind of, yeah, really excited to if I if I have to cover both roles, I'm, I'm uh, versatile like that. So, looking forward to it, really. Sorry, just ask one what the mood is like in the camp. Is it kind of Tense and nervous this week in a big game, or are you all still sort of excited to be at the World Cup? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, I suppose it's actually pretty similar to what we were like back in back in Dublin. I suppose I've only been kind of in for the last couple of months, but um, you know, even the scheduling, it's it's very similar to, to what we had. And I think it's been such a long build-up since, um, well, from from me from the start of pre-season, but for other lads, it's been three and a half years. Um, so I think fellas are just excited to to kind of get out there um, and it's obviously look the pinnacle of, of most fellas career so I think it's just about getting looking forward to kind of getting out to the pitch and getting started with nearly this stage. Jack, what have you found uh, conditions on the training pitch like just with like the grease ball and the conditions and stuff how it's... Uh, pretty, pretty similar to what I'm used to in Galway so um, yeah like end, I was in a few kicking reps with Enda McNulty there today and it was just kind of he was kind of putting scenarios in my head and Look, it was quite windy where we were and it was quite wet, so um, I suppose it's nice to have had them conditions kind of regularly throughout the year. So I think whether it's that, which it looks like it could be at the weekend, or whether it's going to be drier and humid, we've obviously had our um, warm weather condition training in Portugal and that, so I think we're well prepped for whatever whatever it is at the weekend. If you can do it in the sports ground, you can do it anywhere. Exactly, he actually said that, that's what Enda, what Enda said. So um, yeah, touch wood, it'll, it'll all go well. Jack, in terms of your stuff, and what are the specific things that he's doing to kind of help you in your mindset? Um, I suppose, just speaking from today, um, putting pressure on you when you're taking kicks. Um, he, when you're lining up a kick, he'll, he might say the odd time, um, I suppose he might say 66 minutes, or he might say howling wind, and he'll come over and kick the ball off the tee. So it's about, I suppose, not kind of trying to get to annoy him for doing that, uh, trying to say kind of cool and calm and then just obviously go through the process again that you've already went through because he's kicked the ball off the tee so um, yeah they're kind of things that he actually really just did today so they're um, quite beneficial. It does work? Uh, I find it works yeah obviously um, you know if, if that scenario does kind of come up uh, at the weekend or throughout the tournament or whenever it's obviously something that might tap into the back of your head you've already done it so um, you know, it's good to kind of get them done now. Yeah. Is, he, is he just working with kickers? Is he doing anything with you, for example, Andrew, or anybody else in the squad? Uh, yeah, off field he would would do a good bit with like a bit of everyone. So more so kind of the mental side of, of like your preparation, stuff like that. So, but yeah, I think he would spend most of his uh, on pitch time with with kickers and stuff. So like, yeah, like I would I wouldn't really know wouldn't personally, but sure. Drums. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still not like yeah, it's something that you're interested in in terms of psychology and uh, how you get yourself set. Uh, the yeah, definitely. It's always a, a an extra part of the game where you can gain an extra advantage. So like if you're on top of everything mentally, it kind of makes the physical side of the game a, a lot easier. Like obviously, if you're prepared mentally and stuff for the week ahead for what's coming, obviously Scotland ahead. So that's what we're mentally preparing ourselves for now. So to make it, to make it ourselves physically available. So.